And welcome back to Sports Weekly on IEMG. I am your host, Pep Fernandez. Now we're talking some more high school softball. Yes, the season is over, but the accolades are still rolling in for the Cajon High School softball team. And uh, the Cowgirls, they deserve all of it. Your CIF Southern Section Champions in Division 5 uh, beating El Toro in that championship game. If you haven't seen the highlights or interviews, you can find them right here on the IE Media Group YouTube channel. But in this case, uh, it was the Cowgirls going out to San Manuel Stadium. Yes, the home of the Inland Empire 66ers for a very special uh, celebration to honor their CIF championship this year. Yes, it was the Cajon High School softball team out there uh, being honored by one of the San Bernardino County supervisors, that is Joe Baca Jr. And there's a, a special resolution as he honored the Cajon High School softball team being one of the few teams from San Bernardino County to win a CIF championship in softball. So it was a, a great honor for the softball team and a little bit later, uh, I believe later this month, there's going to be a special resolution as well at an upcoming uh, San Bernardino County Board of Supervisors meeting to honor the Cowgirls softball team as well. Check it out. We're here to honor the Cajon Cowgirls for their CIF championship. It's a big deal for San Bernardino County. It's actually the first CIF championship since 2006. I've known Coach Haynes for a long time. You know, we used to... Uh, play against each other. I coached softball at Rialto High School for nine years and I never won a CIF championship. So I think this is a big deal. This is exciting. So on behalf of the County of San Bernardino, we want to recognize Coach Haynes for being the CIF Coach of the Year. Give it up for Coach Haynes. And also we have Mercedes Alba, all CIF Southern Section Division 5. Congratulations, Mercedes. I want to know who the girl is that got the game-winning hit against El Toro. Where's she at? Game-winning hit against El Toro High School. Eight innings. Congratulations. And our next pitch being thrown by Shrota, Jim Rota of Cajon Softball. And that was Kim Rodas from the softball team throwing out one of those ceremonial first pitches at the 66ers. Congratulations to Kim, who recently signed a scholarship with Valparaiso University in Indiana to continue her softball career. And of course, uh, Vanessa Flores going to Syracuse. So some really great players on this edition of Cajon High School's softball team. Congratulations to a great championship season. And again, the accolades still rolling in. All right, now we're going to go from San Manuel Stadium over to Carter. And that was the scene of the Kenny Clark Youth Football Camp. The star player for the Green Bay Packers is a San Bernardino native. Played his high school football, of course, at Carter High School. Always comes back to the IE. Gives back in so many ways. And this is one of them, the youth football camp where he brings a lot of his NFL friends and a lot of kids go out there and just really have a great time interacting and learning from Kenny Clark and some NFL football players. Let's take a uh, take a look at some of the sights and the sounds from the Kenny Clark Youth Football Camp, including an interview with the man himself, Kenny Clark. That's where the move. There you go. Go, go. It was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, we had a great day. Um, you know, all the kids came out and uh, really stuck together, man. And uh, it was a good. It was a really good time. Um, just really enjoyed. Uh, watching everybody come together as a community, um, you know, all the parents stick around and they all came together and uh, uh, as a community 
Um, and, and that's what you want. That's what you want, especially in areas like this. Yeah, ultimately, you know, it's always for the kids. You know, how amazing it is to just see little kids running around with smiles on their faces. What joy does that bring to you or what emotion brings out of you from that? Uh, yeah, it, it brings a lot of joy because you don't you don't really see that often um, anymore. You don't see kids come outside and, you know, whether it's riding bikes or just playing outside, playing out, outside fo I mean, football and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you don't really see that uh, anymore now, nowadays. So just to get our community together, have them come outside and, and all come out here for a common goal, and that's to have fun, uh, stick together, and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's awesome to have them all out here. All right, last question, Kenny. Uh, sticking away from the camp, what are your goals coming up for the for this upcoming season with the Packers? Uh, man, just just be my best self. Um, just be, be the best me I can be. Um, and, you know, hopefully, you know, all the accolades and all that kind of stuff that can become with it. Uh, but the only thing I'm focused on is just being my best self, and, and my best self is, is one of the best. All right, that is Kenny Clark at his youth football camp. And pretty soon, about the middle of July, Kenny will be heading back to the Green Bay Packers to start training camp. And sure enough, it'll be the first game of the NFL season, football season uh, in general for high school, college, the NFL right around the corner now. My name is Pep Fernandez. We always appreciate you tuning in each and every week. And make sure you subscribe to the IE Media Group YouTube channel. I'm Pep. We'll see you next time on IEMG.